I have lately made a lot of videos regarding ships in Star Citizen. So let's take a little break from that and actually look at the Arclight Pistol. It's the starter weapon that we all get and it's, uh, well, renewed, new and renewed. So what does it have now? It's got a single fire and burst fire options. Burst fire being three shots at a time and single fire still remaining the same. The weapon magazine still remained the same size as it was actually pretty big. So how effective is this burst fire mode? From a full magazine you can get a total of uh, 10 bursts, which I think is really nice. Uh, since it is a starter pistol I wasn't really hoping too much, but I actually feel that it might be somewhat better as the burst fire is really effective and with a single fire I think it would take me twice as long to ditch out the same amount of bullets. Not to say that it's any kind of a sniping pistol or really an effective weapon because it is a starter weapon, it is a light weapon and it is a pistol most of all. So it works decently okay against unarmored targets or lightly armored targets. But when you're using it against he more heavily armored, you better be precise, try to aim for the heads or else it's gonna take quite a few bursts to bring down some of these medium armed opponents. But probably the most welcome change for this uh, starting pistol. Personally, I think they perhaps even should have given it a full auto option because it doesn't really do that much damage. Yet there was another pistol which got that type of love. Perhaps we'll talk about that some other time, but right now the Arclight pistol. So single fire, it's okay. It's not really an ideal option to use, as long as you do have the bursts, unless you're trying to aim it from a little bit longer distance. But I think uh, if you are fast enough at spamming in single fire mode, you can actually perform quite well. But the burst is just an effective way to take down those opponents in close range if you just want to make sure they go down before you. It doesn't mean that the single fire is a bad option, but I felt a lot more comfortable using uh, burst fire than single fire with this weapon. Well, maybe it was on the account of some of these opponents just dancing around, which is uh, quite an effective way to avoid some of my bullets. But then again, the light armor targets once again fall down really quick and the more heavily armored will be a bit of a bit of these uh, bullet sponges. If I remember correctly, I think the default option for this weapon now actually is burst fire option, which is nice. But if you want to swap between them, use the B key and, uh, well, use whatever firing mode you prefer. Personally, I think burst is an ideal option if you're going up against armor. If the opponents are unarmored, I think single fire will help you conserve your ammunition. And yeah, usually it is better if you have a limited amount of ammo, you don't want to really waste it, you don't want to spend it, single fire it is. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe and thanks for watching.